Just one of five from the field to start. Nice attack from Welts and a finish. Yeah, Welts kind of found a second gear there. One of two players that UNH was able to add, and Tim, you mentioned at the open, just six players in their last game as Welts is able to finish for two. 45 seconds left here in the first quarter. O'Connor looking for her first bucket. Tries the three-pointer and knocks it down. Kane with a three-pointer. That's good. And it's right as the quarter ends. Bowman jumps up high to get that. Feeds down low and Fourier lanes it in. One. Williams trying to set up the offense in the half court. O'Connor, right wing three. That's good. Avery O'Connor with a triple to cut the deficit to six. Down low to Wanzer, out to the right wing for Welts. Back to Bannis. Shot clock at nine. Now here's a left wing three from Wanzer, and it's good. You can see her getting ready. I mean, she was in her shooting position before she even got the ball. And we saw him do the exact the same thing in the first half, kind of all of a sudden throw the defense into a higher gear. And they're doing it again right now. Coleman swishes the two. See the Wildcats run a little bit off these misses, but Joe, I don't know if you're seeing it, but the Wildcats do look a little fatigued. Cody with a nice move as she lays it in. Kind of fatigued about that right there, the up and under from Paige Cody. Kane, left wing three, bottom. Nice looking stroke from Brooke Kane there. No hesitation, knows her team needs points. Well, they have a star in Danae Bowman, that helps. They've got great depth, they've got outside shooting. And there's the first from Breezy Williams. He will not go scoreless. Reltz has it left wing. Bearcats milking the clock right now. Feed down low, Coleman, another easy two. And that'll do it. Binghamton picks up a 59 to 45 victory against the UNH Wildcats. The Bearcats improved to two and one in America East play. Wildcats fall to 0 and three with the 14 point loss.